Alright, we have to find the limit as x approaches infinity of x times the tangent of 1 over x solution. So x almost looks like 1 over x, and so that kind of just screams to use a certain technique. But let's think about this first. Um, you can't really plug in, in plug in infinity. Infinity is not a number. But this takes the form infinity times 0, right? Because as x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. The tangent of 0 is 0. So that's the, that's the form of, of the limit. So what we'll do is we want to write it in a form that lets us use L'Hopital's rule. So to do that, we have the limit as x approaches infinity. And we can write x as follows. We can write this as the tangent of 1 over x over 1 over x, right? And just convince yourself this is the same thing, right? If you take the tangent of 1 over x and you divide by 1 over x, you really multiply by the reciprocal, which is x. And so this, these are exactly the same. At this point, it has the form 0 over 0, so we can use L'Hopital's rule. So I'm going to put LH here to indicate that we're using L'Hopital's rule. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. Now, now we take derivatives. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. So you get secant squared 1 over x. Now you have to use the chain rule. You have to multiply by the derivative of the inside piece. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. How do I know that? I have it memorized. Uh, you should memorize it too. And the derivative here is also negative 1 over x squared. And I said you should memorize it, but you should know how to do it, right? If you take the derivative of x to the negative 1, you just you bring the negative 1 down, and then you get a negative 2 here, so you get negative 1 over x squared. And at some point, you will memorize this because you will get very, very sick of doing this computation. All right, at this point, I think it's clear what the limit is. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity of secant squared of 1 over x. And as x approaches infinity, let's think about this. As x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0. So this term approaches the secant squared of 0. Secant is 1 over cosine. Cosine of 0 is 1, so this, is, this will just be 1. And that's it.